Hello, and welcome back to No Man's Sky. We are continuing right where we left off last time, working on a leap in the dark uh, mission. We have just taken a portal from our uh, galaxy to, I'm thinking another galaxy, but at least to an unknown planet. And our ship is damaged, and um, that's what we're working on. So I did actually get in my ship in between episodes and it, I got a mysterious message from an unknown source saying essentially you are not alone similar to what we heard from Artemis alright so let's repair our ship and see where it's damaged alright launch thrusters Make some jelly. Alright. And I have a fleet message. Damaged frigate. Recall frigate. Alright, thank you for the report. Okay, so, um... Let's see, signal? Okay. Fly over there, a little too far to run or take the roamer. Signal echo, approximate location. Signal sweeper. 343 that way. Is it through the water? No. Okay. We got an aggressive critter up here. Put down a uh, summoning station. Sneaking up on me, huh? Not today, buddy. So 300 that way. Critters coming at me. Unidentified stuff. Gotta scan it. Some animals over here. Espon de Basica. I scan that one. There we go. Radio Yellow, 368,000. Very nice. Alright, I think that's all the animals. Okay. Did we locate the uh, unknown grave? Okay. Artemis, oh no! I approach the source of the signal. A hologram appears. It is Artemis, but there is only silence. The slow pulse of cosmic noise in the signal. Ask who is there. If Artemis can hear me, they make no sign. The hologram just stares. 
it's strange, but I still have, feel a sense of deja vu, as as if I've been here before, right at this very moment. Ask where they are. As I move closer, the Artemis projection begins to speak, their words punctuated by a strange static. They came, watched closely, machines, murderers, against the... The voice falls silent, the projection looks at me, something is very wrong. Scan the hologram. I scan the hologram, it bears, it bears the exact same signature as every other transmission I have received from Artemis. There is no ulterior source for the signal. Everything they have said appears to have come from right in front of me. As I stand here, Artemis begins to speak. Where are? Cold them, but still beloved. Anomaly, they. Nada. Polo watching us. Tracking. Mistake. Abandoned, but it wasn't. Through the portal. Please, don't trust. I'm afraid, aren't. Comfort Artemis. The projection fizzles away to mere static. This echoes all that is left of the entity known as Artemis, a grave of glitched data trapped in a sunless reality. My friend is dead. Perhaps they were never alive. I must tell Apollo what I have seen. The first traveler. Contact Apollo at a holo terminus. Okay. It's a deep hole. Unidentified mineral. Elskoy Sight. Gotta butcher those names. Alright, so scan for a hollow terminus. There we go, bring in the ship. This is a pretty nice looking planet. Today's space fact is about the possibility of finding microbial life on Mars. Researchers think meltwater beneath Martian ice could support microbial life. While actual evidence for life on Mars has never been found, a new NASA study proposes microbes could find a potential home beneath frozen water on the planet's surface. For computer modeling, the study's authors have shown that the amount of sunlight that can shine through water ice would be enough for photosynthesis to occur in shallow pools of meltwater below the surface of that ice. Similar pools of water that form within ice on Earth have been found to teem with life, including algae, fungi, and microscopic cyanobacteria, all of them which derive energy from photosynthesis. Pretty cool. Um, that was out of the Jet Propulsion Lab. Uh, the lead author was Aditya Cooler. And if you want more info on that, I'll link the article. Alright. Roller time. There it is. Sorry, trees. Save and chart. Fly on up here. Right. Warning, network compromised. Warning, manual override required. There are no signal matches for Artemis or Apollo. The terminal is a stream of warnings and errors. Perform manual override. The warning messages cease. Some new frequency shimmers into being. Break, break, break. Data stream overridden. No. 
you are not alone. Tell me, what's the point in living if we know that life will finish? Ask who they are. You refuse to answer. That's answer enough, I suppose. I know you, Traveler. I know where you've been. I know where you're going. What if I told you that Artemis could be saved? What if I told you that Artemis could live once more after a fashion? What would you do then, I wonder? Demand to know who they are. I am nothing. The blood of Artemis is data. The heart is glitch. I can help you retrieve them both. We require a mind arc, a receptacle for their soul. Can you do that for me? I am reactivating Artemis frequency. Speak with them when you are ready. A stranger offers me blueprints for something called the mind arc, a device they claim will allow me to restore Artemis life. Accept. I accept not knowing who the stranger is or how, how they possess such knowledge of my adventures, but if there's a chance that I can help Artemis, I will take it. Mind Dark Soul Engine. Okay. Speak with Artemis. Oh, there he is. Are you? Are you? Are you? Artemis repeats these two words endlessly, unable to see my face or hear my voice. I must craft the mind arc, mind arc before I can help them further. Objective updated. Construct the mind arc. Okay. What do I need for the mind arc? Soul Engine, Metal Plating, Living Pearl, and Cadmium. Okay. Mind Dark, Soul Engine, Marine Lumen Glass. I have some Cadmium at the base and Living Pearls. Um, I guess let's fly up to the uh, space station. What is exactly the log is telling me? In the galaxy map, search for a red solar system. Access the galaxy map with X. Do, do, do. Warping to red system requires the cadmium drive. So I need to mine cadmium at a red solar system, but I think I might have enough cadmium. But let's get back to base. So let's... Anything left to scan? Saw a red dot. I don't know. Some knowledge stones. Corvex word for there. Corvex word for biological. Okay, there's my ship. Where'd that red dot go? Oh, there we go. Must be on the other side of the... Alright, forget it. Coming in. here. Right. So, uh, the Mercenaries Guild. I got some stuff to turn in. Let's 
Salvage glass, three of those. Okay. And pirate transponders, three of those. Alright, cool. And what I can get what unstable plasma for free. Oh the Oh, plasma launcher module. That's not very exciting. I guess I can make a few nanites, probably reselling it, but it's kind of lame. I'll take my free unstable plasma. Grab my exosuit upgrade. Need to switch things over to my uh, new multi tool. Alright. See if there's any good missions. Navigation data, nanites. Do, do, no, nothing good at all. Alright. Well, that's a cool ship. Explorer, A class. Anybody to recruit to my squadron? Yeah, let's go talk to Nada. We'll work on bringing Artemis back to life you know, later. There we go. thinking about it, let's go see if I can get another uh, derelict freighter coordinates from Helios still have one in my inventory I haven't used Data Flora. Alright. Let's ask about a derelict freighter. Emergency signal scanner. Thank you very much. So I got two of those. We got our uh, signal interceptor thing. We can. Do. Do let me sell this uh, crappy module I have. Transfer data. I haven't been exploring that much. Sadly, Let's sell that. All right, let's head back to base or talk to Nada. That's why we came here, and I got to get the exosuit. Let's do that first. Exosuit upgrade. To Nada, keep forgetting. <laughs> Sorry. Traveler entity, Nada has watched your signal. Nada has seen the other entity. Other entity is old, older than Nada, older than our home. Nada feels them watching. Ask about Null. 
Not ask the other entity, are they first, are they last? Missing entity chose not to answer, they have ignored us. Apollo entity ignores us too, ignores the travelers. Such is their pattern, it is valid, Nada understands. Okay, so we are done with updating Nada. Is there anything else we can talk about? Nope. He has retreated into himself. Does Polo have anything to say? Nada says you have met Missing Friend. Missing Friend did not like me. Ask about Null. They are not like me or like Nada. They have freedom, like all of you traveler friends, but they do not share the signals they see. They hoard them. They are jealous. Polo does not approve. Alright. Now we'll go back to base. So. So we're up to date on that. We can talk to an Atlas interface, this Atlas path quest. I'm not sure if that's something we should be working on now or after we finish the main missions or what. So if you know that, let me know in the comments. Okay, you need cadmium. I don't, I'm not sure, I don't think I have enough. I don't have very much. But yeah, I guess they have some ideas of finding microbial evidence. Evidence of microbial life on uh, Venus, too, up in the uh, atmosphere. Like we talked about that before, so... Probably won't be too long before we find something in our solar system. Cadmium. I do have enough. Okay. I think one twenty. Okay. The living pearl. Pretty sure one of those. Okay. Three metal platings. Okay, construct the soul engine. Alright. Construct the mind arc. Wiring looms? How many wiring looms do I need? Three wiring looms. I got those. do it. Alright, the mind arc is crafted. Waiting for the mission to update. Bring the mind arc to Artemis. Return the, to the hollow terminus and speak to Artemis. Okay. Okay, I can go to a Harlow Terminus here. I don't have to go all the way to where we were. And here is another mid-flight thank you to all my regular viewers and uh, of course welcome to new viewers if you would like to see earlier episodes check the playlist in the video description and as always hit the like button and uh, say hi in the comments all right coming in Looting, 
Lutine, Lutine. Tune to Artemis. There he is. If it's really him. Comfort Artemis. Use the mind. I activate the mind arc. I do not know what to expect. Some show of light and fury, some catharsis where Artemis emerges in the flesh, restored to life before my eyes. But it is not to be. One moment I see their hologram, and the next there is nothing. The stranger who gave me these blueprints beckons me over. Their signal still active. Travelers are a dream, an idea that have that we have some special place in this universe. Artemis had it, you had it, Apollo too, though they would conceal it. Even I had this dream long ago. We are countless, my friend, walking these worlds, yearning for friendship. No one wants to be alone, not truly, but the closer you get to others, the more you risk hurting yourself, hurting them. The deepest secret of the universe is not that of the glass, or the aerons, or the progenitors. It is the final act, the decision to abandon those who need you. It is the primal sin, the foundation of existence itself. Go to the stars, traveler. Your friends await for you. They will help you bring peace to poor Artemis. Return when you are finished. We have much to discuss. Okay. Bring Artemis to Nana. So the, a copy of Artemis has been stored in the mind arc. Fly into space and summon the anomaly. All right, I think we have time to do that. I would love that you can just summon the anomaly on demand in your freighter. See what Nada, Nada can tell us. Friend entity, Polo observed your signal approach, but it was anomalous. The signer, signature was from the wrong time. Are you well? Not incomplete? Not fading? Nada's visor light flares, burning with concern and distress. Reassure them. I tell Nada that I am well. My condition has not changed since I emerged from the portal. Nada relaxes, but a question still hangs in the air. I tell them about Artemis, about Null, about the Mind Arc. The vessel glows brightly as I reveal it. It is Echo. I, I never thought to see a traveler's soul. You are so beautiful. But friend entity, this is Artemis Echo is in pain, disconnected. The Ark is no rescue. Ask why. Artemis Echo will never have body again. We'll never explore again. Old life gone, but we can help them. Nada has a machine. No, not machine. It is something living, a refuge. There is a choice. You may upload Artemis Echo to machine, to sub-simulation where they may live on, or help Artemis Echo in suffering. Ask about the simulation. I ask what life would be like inside of the simul simulation. Nada pauses for a moment, staring at me strangely. Nada tells me Artemis would still joy, feel joy at the things they experience. But if they should learn of their fate, that they were alone, no longer real, unable to meet their friends. 
such knowledge may cause them great pain. You must choose. Upload them to the machine to sub-simulation where they may live on or help Artemis Echo end suffering. Say they have decided. Well, if I was Artemis, I would want to live on even at the risk of being greatly pained by finding out the truth. Go and speak with Polo Traveler. They will help you calibrate the machines no matter what your decision. Whatever you do, I am proud of your compassion. You are a traveler friend. Okay. Speak to Polo? Nada told me what you need to do. Just know, friend, that we support you no matter what the choice. Man, this is like an intervention. I will prepare the machine. It is not a friend's private refuge. Please treat it with care. Okay. This is what this machine is back here that was only accessible to Nada. The machine is ancient and powerful, a relic of world long since destroyed. The craft is extraordinary. It is clearly tended to off it is clearly tended to often and with great love. I feel a whisper, not as faint hum over the speaker, as they commune with the machine. The words on panel unscramble themselves. Not an entity authorization detected. Secondary simulation right enabled. This relic is a simulation of a solar system, a prayer offered by ancient Corvax to the Atlas, now shaped at the heart of the anomaly. A single false solar system so dear to Nada, it will act as a home for Artemis should I wish it. Upload Artemis. I upload Artemis to the simulation, a spark of blue light blazing through the air before me. It fades after a moment, disappearing into the depths of the machine. Nada tells me that it is done. For my sake, they will permit transmissions to and from the simulation, at least while the anomaly passes through safe systems. They warn me that Artemis will need some time to grow adjusted to their new life. Not an entity authorization required. Simulation running. The machine hums, glowing with a life and power that unnerves me. This terminal is scrambled. It display unreadable. Broadcast message. I attempt to send a message into the simulation. It does not work. I do not know what I expected. How could a whole universe listen? Okay. Well, I think we made the right decision. That's what I would have wanted. He still has a solar system to keep him company. Alright. So speak with Nada and Polo. Artemis Echo will live on. Traveler took them from corruption and restored them to a life of exploration. To see a solar system that none but Corvax have ever witnessed. You have done well, Traveler. Don't worry, friend. We will take good care of Artemis' simulation. The souls of your allies are safe with us. Okay. So... So I need to return to space and contact Apollo. All right. Let's do that and then probably call it on this episode. Very touching episode with our friend Artemis. Mm, signal. 
are you receiving? The holo terminus is showing. Available again. Your signal was. Thought you were gone. It is a relief to hear Apollo again. It feels like we have not spoken in a long time. Explain. I try to recount the experience of Apollo as best I can. The gateway, the strange planet, a vast machine, the crimson orb. As I talk, I realize that memories themselves are unstable, that I cannot form them in my mind. It is just a dull, aching red. I tell Apollo that I think I saw the atlas itself. You? You saw it? You met the atlas, the Gek, the Corvax? They worship it as a god. I never thought it was real. Never thought. Are you alright? I can't imagine what you've gone through. Say it was just a machine. I tell Apollo of the things that Atlas said, how it spoke of travelers and sentinels as if we were protocols, not living things. The way it views us, the way it looked at me, I felt as if life and death were just fragile dreams, not real concepts at all. At least it didn't harm you, and I think, I think there's something in what you've just said. The Corvax pay homage to the sentinels precisely because they believe them to be ser servants of this Atlas. We should investigate further. This machine will lead us to the Sentinel Nest. We'll be rich before we know it. Agree. I tell Apollo I agree. Perhaps the Sentinels and Atlas are linked. Perhaps this is the path we need to take. But there are other factors now in play. I tell Apollo of Artemis' grave and my encounter with the mysterious traveler, Noel. Artemis is dead? I... I don't... How? Who would... I know I made fun of them, but that was easy. They cared, they believed, and I... What's happened to them? Where have you buried Artemis? I want to say goodbye if I can. Tell them of your choice. I tell Apollo that Noel gave me a way of saving Artemis to restore them to a form of life. Apollo is initially excited at the prospect of going to meet Artemis, but I explain the nature of what I did. I tell him that Artemis soul lives only within a simulation, unable to go beyond ask if this was right. It is a long time before Apollo speaks again. Will they be happy? Say you hope so. You did the right thing. You tried. Whatever you might be feeling right now, know that you are a good friend. I have to go through the portal and join you. That much is clear. We just need to figure out the right glyphs, the right address for that world of yours. Find a monolith, search for patterns in the data. These things are machines, and we simply need to understand their code. Okay. So we will continue that. The first Traveler primary mission later. Um, and that will do it for today. I think next time, like I said, we have this uh, carrier AI fragment that I think will lead us to a damaged... Sentinel Interceptor that we can repair and add to our fleet. So uh, thanks for watching. If you liked the episode, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and have a good day.